Question number 23. Very important point. It says they are mathematically similar. So that means that these are related in some way. We know the area of this one is 104 centimeters squared. And we know that the area of B has 936 centimeters squared. We've got to remember something very important. That, that when the length is changed by a scale factor, let's call it x, the area scale factor, the areas change, not in the same way, they change by x squared or a length times a length. And the volume, we might need this in a second, scale factor doesn't change by this normal scale, same scale factor, the length change, whereas it changes according to cubed. And that's very important. So, well, let's work out how to get from one to the other. So if we do 936 divided by 104, good old calculator cam, 936 divided by 104. Well, that's very convenient. Comes out as 9. So we know the area scale factor is 9. That means the areas have got 9 times bigger. That means the length, this one's getting 9, so the length must be 3 times bigger, and we can probably guess the volume's going to be 27 times bigger. You can see that. So the lengths get 3 times bigger. So all we've got to do is we've got to then do the 5, we go from A to B, it's got to get 3 times bigger instead of 9 times bigger, which means the length will be 15. If we follow it down, we're told the area scale factor, we're told the length scale factor was 3 from the area scale factor from the area scale factor being 9 so that tells us that the volume scale factor is going to be 27 3 times 3 times 3 or 3 cubed so all I've got to do is got to do 1620 divided by 27. It's got to get 27 times smaller. 20 divided by 27 tells me the volume of A is going to be 60. Well, we could have possibly worked that out. Well, that's that's the method, so length, area, so the 16 here. Length, area, and volume scale factors.